Hey y'all, hey y'all. Welcome to my channel. This is Straight Facts Commentary where I give you my unpopular opinions in everything pop culture. So please, please, please stick around and subscribe for more. Hey y'all, I'm back again with another video and in today's video, you see the title, you see the title, we are going to be speaking about Glorilla, okay? So if you're interested in that, female rap, pop, conspiracy theories, training topics, my unpopular opinions, whatever I feel like getting into for real, then go on ahead and subscribe. Also really, really subscribe because the goal is 5k, 5k for a personal video about me, a Q&A, just more information about me if you guys are really interested in that. So go on ahead and subscribe for the that and let's get into this video okay y'all y'all saw the title y'all saw the title this is a glorilla appreciation video more or less is what it is just me talking her up and talking about just the growth the exponential growth that glorilla has had recently it's like what <laughs> what's going on for real what is going on for real and i'm so so happy for her like are you kidding me and i think i've said this before in other videos but like i really wasn't the biggest fan of glorilla when she first came out i did not like her music that much i did not like the twerking on them hit like something something that i did not like that crap i did not like that i didn't like fnf I was like, this music is just like embarrassing and ghetto and I hated it. <laughs> I hated it. Like how I feel about Sexy Red is how I felt about Glorilla at first, but she has evolved musically to me and she's so much better. She's putting out so much better quality music in my opinion than she was when she first came out. So I started rocking with her a lot more. And also I wanted to talk about how there was a point in time where people were like, oh, Glorilla fell off, da 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 because as we do know, um, she had her moments, and then she had Tomorrow 2, which was a moment on, on its own. Then she got on to the remix with Cardi B. That song blew up, like, that was everywhere, and a lot of people were basically saying that Cardi B stole the shine of that record, and she kind of did, to be honest, in the beginning, because the highlight of the song for a lot of people was Cardi B's verse, and even me. I liked Cardi B's verse um, a lot and Cardi B's verse is what helped me like Tomorrow 2 because I didn't like Tomorrow 2 at first. <laughs> like I really didn't. The original Tomorrow 2 I did not listen to. I started listening to it after Cardi B's verse. So pretty much right after that, um, Glorilla's momentum died down significantly. There wasn't a lot going on. Everything she was putting out, people didn't like. She put out that cha-cha-cha. Ain't nobody messed with none of that. She put out some other stuff. Um, I think some features, some remixes. She, she was doing stuff. She was working how she normally worked, right? But nobody was latching onto the music and people were like, oh, um, Glorilla fell off, you know, sexy red took her spot da, da, da. and i was starting to be like oh you know what she isn't as hot as she was you know people aren't messing with the last few releases that she put out but she started to gain her momentum back and i am so happy for that because i was like getting a little sad because i really like lorilla and i was starting to get into her right when people were saying she was falling off like that's when i started liking her. so yeah glow was the song that really propelled her back into you know, the mainstream eye. She's gotten on the charts from it. She's been on the chart. I think it's still on the charts, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not sure what position it's at, but it's been on the charts for weeks. The song has been hot for weeks. She got the video for it. The video was cute. It was simple. It wasn't nothing too crazy. Um, people like the video. The song is so much better to me than the preview was because the preview did not have me like that at first. But once I listened to the record, I was like, oh, this is good this is good her uh voice one thing i can say that i appreciate about glorilla too is her and her team or whoever is picking them if it's her if it's her team if it's both they pick the right beats for glorilla's voice for her vocal tone for her cadence for her flow they pick the perfect beats to go along with that strong heavy memphis um accent period she always has the best beats um she dropped her mixtape or whatever um everything everything and i did a review on that that didn't get much like views at all because people didn't really listen to her mixtape like that but i'm trying to tell y'all the mixtape is really freaking good like it's a good body of work to me you know better than a lot of body works that i've heard recently in my opinion and i feel like that mixtape got slept on because there's a lot of solid songs i saved like almost the entire 
<laughs> mixtape onto my um, playlist and I don't do that with a lot of work but I just kind of wanted to talk about glow in general because like you know what like low-key glow really kind of eating up a lot of girls like eating up a lot of girls eating up everybody kind of low-key not everybody but a good amount of girls right now and people were like you know counting glow really out calling her the underdog and saying that she's not gonna be this and that but she's eating up a lot of people you know she's on this tour with Megan Thee Stallion it's not her tour but she's on it with her you know she's got a lot of hot songs out she has a song that's not even out yet that is getting so much attention right now it's actually crazy and it sounds like it's gonna be fire as hell I can't wait for her to drop it um the song that goes is 7 p.m friday it's 95 degrees i ain't got no and on ain't got me <laughs> i don't want it to demonetize this video i probably already demonetized it for all i know while i'm trying to sit here and prevent it um like that's going crazy on tiktok right now that's going crazy everywhere people keep talking about it it's so good like just off of that little snippet it's so good you know glorilla is really killing it i think she's a strong contender i feel like she keep going in the direction she's going um she's gonna have built up a strong good foundational fan base on her own you know what i'm saying just like a good amount of people who support glow and you know she's still early stages in her career so it could go either way but she's coming off as authentic she don't be involved in a lot of drama she did have that stuff with jt a while back she did have that thing with the the dui i think or whatever that was a mess I'm not even gonna pretend like that wasn't a mess um, but in general, you don't hear too, too much about Glorilla. She kind of stays out of the way for the most part, makes her music and goes on. She does have her little controversies here and there, but lately she's been grinding, focusing on the music and staying out of the way for the most part. But I wanted to play some clips. <laughs> that's just a couple there is so many there is so many videos there's so many tweets there's so much stuff going on i'm just so proud of her like i'm genuinely so proud of her i'm so happy for her like i just want her to remain successful and to be successful like i really genuinely do like mm, my heart is full is full <laughs> so you guys let me know what you think do you guys think that you know glorilla has like a main girl like female rap contender potential or is she just having a moment right now? Like, what do you guys think? Like, do, do you guys think Glorilla is going to, you know, remain consistent and kind of climb the ranks? I'm curious to know. And that is it for this one. And I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.